Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. It's been a while. Uh, I've been super busy, and uh, this game has taken a little bit of a back seat, not for lack of wanting to play it, though. And so here we are. There's uh, a few things we need to do. So, uh, I Spy Barabbas. Ming Zhao has suggested you look for a businessman named Wong Ho at the Red Dragon Restaurant. He may have information that could lead you to Barabbas, Gary's spy. But over here, uh, where is it? Dragon's Tail. You need to get to Johnny in his office upstairs at the Glaze nightclub to get information on the whereabouts of Barabbas. Password to enter Glaze 725. You better do it without a big commotion. Lu Fang wants you to kill his old partner, Ji Zhen Hua. And you set up a meeting with Zai Jaina, the Henge Yokai, at the fish market tonight. But first, you need to tell Yuki, who is the person we met when we first came in here. So, let's do this. Let's go to Glaze nightclub and see if we can't get in there quietly without too much trouble. Glaze is 10. Oh, so we're actually it's right around the corner. Should be right around here. I bet you this is it. There it is. <sighs> now, it, it's saying don't make a commotion. So, I don't know if that means we need to be, like, can't be completely sneaky. It's just don't cause too much trouble. Get into it. Pretty solid. They all stop. They're like, mm, no, this girl is totally killing our vibe. Daniel Ash. Am I supposed to know you? Well, uh, I'm looking for Johnny. We got business. You don't look like someone he need to talk to. Yeah, well, I am though. Go tell Johnny I'm here. Johnny's in his office upstairs. You play with Johnny, and you're not getting out of here alive. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay, let's go find him. Nobody allowed upstairs. Uh huh. The guy over there said that it was cool though. Okay. Oh, nice. This is not good. I don't know where else I can go. Oh, maybe he... Okay, I guess we're just... We're good now. We're cool. Hi there. Nope. I'm not interested. Hi there. Think you are, bitch? Huh? Oh, you know who I am? You know who you are? It's a little you uncalled die? for. No, oh, we're good. We're good. What the fuck do you want? Huh? Who are you? Look, uh, I'm looking for somebody, and I was told that you were the guy. Who told you that? How, how, how would you know about that? Who are you? Answer me. Look, um, I'm gonna just ask you one more time here. Don't tell it a thing, Johnny. Oh. Shoot it! You told me that guy was a nobody. Just what the hell did you get us involved in? Shoot it. You'll find out. You're dead, bitch! You're kidding what the me. fuck? I shot you! You're dead! <laughs> that's exactly it, Johnny. It is dead. It's quite difficult to kill something that's already dead. And I assure you, it's not wearing a vest. The bullet entered cleanly through the lower abdomen. Don't listen, Johnny. I'm wearing a vest. Normally, a bullet of that caliber would likely ricochet and tear up the small intestine. But as you can see, it exited cleanly through the back with little external bleeding. The reason being, its internal organs have atrophied. So, okay, who is this guy? What the hell's going on? W what are you? Dispose of Johnny, and we'll discuss the matter of your missing comrade. 
What? Come on, Johnny. I don't want to have to kill you. No, fuck you. Die already. Hey, stop right there. Jesus. Didn't want to have to do him, it. Didn't you? It's part of your code of survival, covering your tracks, so to speak. No, not And exactly. before you attempt to deceive me, you should know I'm monitoring your heat signature. It's room temperature. So, who are you? I also must protect my true identity. You may refer to me as the Mandarin. Great. You are searching for one of your kind, I understand. I have him at my facility. Come to the Fu Syndicate building. We will discuss terms of release. Okay, on my way. Problem. See, this is a little bit of an issue. Um, because that was probably not the quietest way things could have went. Okay, I have a ton of experience. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I feel like this doesn't save my experience, and I'm redoing things. Uh. Let's go into Charisma. Like, I'd like to be able to manipulate and all this as much as I can, but... Uh, Haggle, I'm not really concerned about. Seduction, yes. And now we need 16, 12 for each of these others. Maybe uh, research would be good a little bit. Let's do that. Let's actually check out some of these books. I need finance ability of at least two. Okay. There we go. Stats increased. Thank you. No clue what it is, but it looks evil. Some of the stuff I can probably drop, but the occult stuff I should probably keep. I just don't know like what I need and what I don't. I don't need morphine, that's for sure. I don't need a car stereo. But I don't know if I'm ever going to need this bail bond again. Or these books. Okay, well, we dropped a few things, so... Mummy wrap fetish? I just gained that? Gazing upon this mummified fetish, you feel a rush of vitality to your undead flesh. Increases passive healing rate by 25%. That is actually pretty huge. Why is this all of a sudden... Is this my research? You're able to hold the effect of most passive disciplines longer as long as you possess Galgem, which we have. The duration are increased by 25%. Okay, we don't know what this is. This petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned, but vampires can benefit from its shamanistic magic all the same. Increases defense. You feel at ease knowing there's one less of those in the world. Decreases your chance to frenzy. Okay. Wish you had the skill to use it, yeah. So there's only one of these occult things that we don't know what it does. You have no idea what it could be. Boost to charisma. Damage done by gargoyles. Boost charisma. Oh god. This is not gonna be good. I'm gonna try to get out of here without using this. Let me go. I want nothing to do with you. Goodbye. So perhaps if some of my skills were higher, I probably could have talked him into doing what I wanted, but... Okay, you, I doubt you're going to taste that good, but. All right. Much better. Okay, so let's find this next place here. Um, Foo Syndicate. Let's find it.
It's actually super nice here. Like, it's really cool. Food Syndicate is six. Which means... Is this it? Okay, there's Sings. Which means on the opposite side of that. I still can't really figure out these names. Must be here. Nope. There's the Red Dragon. Okay, if Sangs is... Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. It's this right there, the Foo Syndicate. Yeah, this is cereal. the terms of the release and the reason we're looking for him is because it's Gary's spy um, we're trying to find that information out for him which has led us here yeah I have no idea So glad you finally decided to show up. Oh, look at him. If you want to meet your comrade, walk through those doors. Why can't you bring him here? Like, Subject will not enter the next area. This may be due to a theoretical sixth sense, or perhaps it is simply afraid. Subject? Are you stubborn by nature or instinct? Come on. Subject is uncooperative. This may be a side effect of its condition. Is he talking or about a residual me? personality defect. Step through the doors. No. Subject refuses to move to the me. next chamber. I assure you, your comrade is still alive. If you want him released, you will do as I say. Look, can you just come out here? <laughs> Step through the doors. Yeah, we're not going to have a choice. Good. I am told you are a rather resourceful individual. Stanley Syndicate. This should make you a most intriguing specimen. You and your kind may play mortals for weaklings and fools, and that may be fitting for some, but you underestimate me. Do I? That might go both ways. Subject is female. Appearance suggests early to late twenties. True age, unknown. How can I be early to late 20s? As with the other, there are no this? vital signs. No heartbeat, no body heat. Test chamber air sample is 97% carbon monoxide. Normal respiration cannot take place. Subject is, by all definition, clinically dead. I could have told Hello you Hello in there. I'm going to run some tests on you. I'm interested in how you work. But only because it's my task to find the most efficient way to kill your kind. Please, give me everything you've got. Begin the experiment. What the hell? Test chamber has been filled with ultraviolet light, releasing moderate UV radiation. Does that burn at all? No. Oh. Subject exhibits no sign of pain or even physical discomfort. Shut down the lights. Conclusion... UV radiation does not produce the desired effect. Please, move on to the next chamber. Oh, God. If oh, you cooperate, oh, well, your survival in the dog borders on good behavior. I'm, I'm curious my about your inability to dog blood Let over the rats I normally do. give. The walls are reinforced concrete, several feet thick. There is no other exit. Believe me, it is my design. So, you want me to get through this?
Like, what the hell is going on here? Whoa! Only the most simple creatures can survive dismemberment. Shit. I am told. You can regenerate parts of your body. I'd much like to observe this. I wonder, how many limbs can you lose before you cease to function? Not many. Does that hurt? Let me out! <laughs> oh. Well... That's not good. Way back here? Alright. Well. Let's go feed and get back in there. I don't know what they're doing to us exactly. And I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of that section. I guess now what we can do is we'll just agree with him and we'll just go to the next room. It's not going to have a choice. So glad you finally decided to show up. Subject, are you stubborn? <laughs> Step. All right. Good. I am told you are... Just in case. Rather resourceful individual. This should make you a most intriguing specimen. You and your kind may play mortals for weaklings and fools, and that may be fitting for some. Oh. But you underestimate me. Weapons not allowed. Subject is female. Appearance suggests early to late twenties. True age unknown. As with the other, there are no vital signs. No heartbeat, no body heat. Test chamber air sample is 97% carbon monoxide. Normal respiration cannot take place. Subject is, by all definition, clinically dead. Hello in there. I'm going to run some tests on you. Great. I'm interested in how you work, but only because it's my task to find the most efficient way to kill your kind. Please. Give me everything you've got. Begin the experiment. God, Test chamber has me. been filled with ultraviolet light, releasing moderate UV radiation. Does that burn at all? Subject exhibits no sign of pain or even physical discomfort. Shut down the lights. Conclusion. UV radiation does not produce the desired effect. Please. Move on to the next chamber. If you cooperate, your kind is resourceful. Your survival instinct borders on animalistic. I'm curious about your innate abilities. Let us Whoa, see. Whoa, that was closer than it should have been. The walls are reinforced concrete, several feet thick. There is no other exit. Believe me, it is my design. Same it again. Holy shit. Now this part I'm not getting. Only the most simple creatures can survive dismemberment. I am told. You can regenerate parts of your body. I'd much like to observe this. I wonder 
How many limbs can you lose before you cease to function? Not many. Does that hurt? Shit, yeah, kinda. Oops. Hey, that one stopped. Why did that happen? Oh! Okay, good, we're onto something. We have to shoot these little whatevers. You've shown great resilience so far. Let's see how you do against some All live right. targets. Proceed to the next room. Sometimes, myths are constructed around legitimate observations. Sometimes. Let us find out if there's any truth in an old superstition. Initiate Van Helsing experiment. Oh, God. I'd rather the experiment didn't end here. Please, don't disappoint me. So... <gasps> I don't know what the Van Helsing experiment is. Come on, let me feed. Oh, really? He's making me do this. Van Helsing hypothesis tests false. Shit. Well, when God fails. Put your feet oh, maybe I could have commanded him or something. Proceed, Commander. Whoa. The men are veteran mercenaries. The weapon modifications hey, are my own right design. Right Find incendiary rounds. I promise you. Suggest a few tests. Come on. What is it doing? I'm trying to survive. Okay, these guys are pretty tough. Not gonna lie. Serious? You're serious? The men are veteran mercenaries. The weapon modifications are. Yeah, I think. Let's go with something major here. We find incendiary clouds. I promise you. Suggest few tests. What is it doing? Jesus.
Subject has terminated. Holy God. You are turning out to be a very useful guinea pig. But we have a conflict of interest. You continue to endure even though it's my instruction to incapacitate you. This calls for a more drastic approach. Continue to the next room. I'm very enthusiastic about this next test. Uh-huh. Where is the next room exactly? Many regimes use electricity Jeez. to torture information out of their captives. It would be useful if this applies to your kind as well. Or will the voltage have results similar to fire? Let's find out. I... I'm on the ledge, I think. It's not doing anything, guys. Oh my god, look what's coming up. Oh, no, it is doing something. Great. Like, can I break these things? Anything? I guess maybe I just wait it out. Like over time, they're gonna say, well, clearly not working. Right? Maybe? So... Yeah, because this mental one's... and physical we did break them. Good. And I'm quite perplexed how something that should be dead can display such strong survival skills. Let's begin the final test. Oh, God. Step into the next. The fire's going to be an issue. I can tell you that much right now. Stand by. Run a check on the extinguishers one more time. Huh. I've already determined fire is a weakness of your kind. I would like to know more about the psychological effect it has on you and how it may be exploited. Okay, well... Oh. Can I blow these things up too? Yeah, well, you can certainly blow them up. Oh my god. I don't know if that was the way we wanted to do things here. Jesus. I'm actually pretty happy with my aim. <laughs> We're getting a lot of shotgun shells, which is nice. Oh god. Hmm. 
Whoa, what is this? The frick? Oh. This is seriously weird. down. I don't know if that was the best way to do it, but you killed the Mandarin must locate Barabbas. Well, that's the only way I can go. Barabbas is cell key. This must be him. They get you too. Now I've got no excuse. A Nosferatu getting caught by a bunch of humans. <sighs> this is a new low. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, uh, Gary sent me down here. So can we leave? Wait, we can't go no. yet. There are servers here. We need to hack in and delete all of their research. Should be a mainframe on this floor. Okay, cool. I can get into computers, man. Let's check the computers. Anything on Kindred needs to get wiped. Anyone interferes? You leave them to me. If I tore the lungs out of everyone in this place, it still wouldn't feel like revenge. Okay, good. Let's go delete those files. You're going to do the killing. I'm going to do the hacking. That's what I like to see. <laughs> 